What's going on everybody? So today is the day going on E85 for the first time. I'm so excited. You can probably hear I'm getting really sick. I'm losing my voice. So this video I'm going to try a couple different camera angles and whatnot. I'm setting up the GoPro right here. I also have a head strap and I've got this sweet little microphone right here for the GoPro so the audio can be a little bit better. I'm trying a couple things out, you know. Hopefully it works well. I also have my normal camera just in case everything goes to crap. But I'm gonna head to Starbucks real quick, get a morning drink, and then head to the gas station. This has been so hard. The past two days I've been knowing I'm gonna make this video, so I've been putting off getting gas. And I've almost run out of gas twice. Alright, we're all set up. Got the GoPro right here, got my mic right here, and we're ready to go. Okay, so we're heading out to Starbucks right now, get a little morning drink, wake me up a little bit, hopefully help my voice a little bit because it doesn't feel great right now. Oh, that's a fat line I should have known. Just making a little Instagram post. If you don't follow me already on Instagram, at Goodwin26. Go follow me. So real quick on the topic of Instagram, I've been getting a lot of DMs, messages, and honestly, you guys are just awesome. I could have never expected this in a million years. We just hit 3,000 subscribers, which is sick. Uh, I'm thinking about doing like some subscriber thing like I don't know once I hit 25,000 or something big I'll do something cool or crazy in a little jam session never hurt nobody positioning from a man to a woman and we've been there the entire this is journey not jams. we've heard about I am literally about to run out of gas waiting in this stupid line it's not moving it hasn't moved in like 20 minutes oh now of course as I say that can I just have a venti ice caramel macchiato I yes, it will. Thank you. You too. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. That is good. All right, come on. Now I got to wait at the light for another hour and a half. Oh, of course, right as I say that. All right, so I'm looking at the audio right now on my phone. This is how I'm recording the audio. And every time I drive, it's just like straight sound. So I'm really, really hoping that my voice is coming out on top of the sound. If it's not, I'm gonna be very angry, but not that angry because it could always be worse. You know what? I'm not even gonna say anything about this light because as soon as I... Oh yeah. Pull it into the gas station right now. Make sure that 85 pumps open. Yes, it is. All right, we're at the pump. I'm gonna switch to my other camera. Got to reflash the car and whatnot. And we're back. There's lots of noise out here. They're blowing something. I don't know. There's not much to blow, but they're blowing something. Let's get this sucker on. Don't tell me it's dead. Don't tell me it's dead. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I messed up. Alright, well. <laughs> Damn it. Well, there's only one thing to do. You gotta go home. Charge this sucker up real quick. And we'll be back right here in about 30 minutes. Damn it. And we're back. Charge this sucker up. It has just enough juice to let me flash this car. So this is supposed to be an E60 tune. I'm assuming, this is stupid, but I'm assuming it means 60% E85. Or it could also mean 60 out of 85. Alright, E85 first. I'm gonna put 10 gallons total, so I'm just gonna put 6 gallons of E85. 6 gallons, E85. Alright, spilling gas everywhere. Got this figured out. 4 gallons of 93. Alright, that's 4 gallons. 85 always goes first. At least that's what I've been told. I don't want a receipt. I want a drive, baby. 
the 60 in, 6 gallons of E85, 4 gallons of 93, that equals 10, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> okay, so while I was at home, I had the time to check the GoPro footage and hear the mic, and all the mic stuff is trash. It's absolutely trash. You can't hear anything while the car is moving, even the slightest. But the GoPro audio is good enough to where I can get away with it this time. Um, I'm going to try something else now. I'm going to strap the GoPro to my head. This will be a little POV experience, first drive on 85. And I also have a set of just normal, like, micro, like, what are they called? Um, normal headphones that came in my iPhone. So I would already tested it out. The sound quality is actually pretty good. So I'm going to hook that up and we'll get going. So might be wondering why I'm not at the gas station. There's a very simple explanation for that. And that explanation is that I left the GoPro memory card at my house, right? Wouldn't expect anything less. All right, we're just gonna head out to a road where it is less populated so I can give it a little gas and not, you know, put anyone in danger or put myself in danger. Although I will tell you, I could smell the E85. It is like extremely potent. Potent, potent, potent. The smell is potent. We all know my spelling isn't the best. F-U-N-E. Fun. And I'll tell you what, my grammar is right behind it. Side note, I also look like a clown with this thing on my head. I just put it on the 85! Yeah? Yeah. So that was Brendan. He's working right now. Put his Instagram right here. I low-key had a feeling I was going to see you today. Really? Yeah, because you were out so early. Alright, I'm going to give it a little sauce. Third gear. Oh my goodness. Wow. Too bad I don't have the tires to put the power down. It's it's fast. I'll, I'll really get to know how much faster it is than the 93 tune once I get on this open road and I could hit it in a higher gear because the 93 tune spins at third anyways, so there's not really much you can tell. Okay, real quick, actually, um, while I'm just driving to this road, I got a DM, we, weirdest DM ever, but you know, I guess some people just don't know, and it was basically, literally the question was, can you make a video teaching how to downshift in DCT? That, now this really caught me off guard, but I mean, I guess some people actually don't know, like, if you haven't drove a DCT car or PDK, I guess you really wouldn't know, um, maybe they assume that you have to tap the gas while you downshift or something but I guess I figured now's a good a time I'm not gonna make a whole video on it so I'll just say right now how to downshift in DCT if you don't know you don't have to do anything except click the negative that's it it'll rev match for you it's really great it's really easy I don't even know how that was like a question but I guess some people don't know but now you know if you didn't know now you know all right well my GoPro is about to die it's still recording right now, but it's about to die, so I'm gonna try to get a few pulls real quick. I wanted a cleaner road, but I guess I don't have much choice. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's definitely faster. I'll tell you that right now. So my GoPro died. What's new, right? What, what else would you expect from today? I wasted all my GoPro footage driving to the area where I needed my GoPro. That's awesome. It's, it's faster than 93 for sure. I mean, obviously it's faster than 93, but I wasn't sure how big of a difference it would actually be because once on that 93 to tune, it's, it's hard to imagine how like anything faster because it just slips. It just slips all the time. So, honestly what I need to do is get some grippy tires and then that will, I need a reaction video of that because if I could, if I could lay down the power in second gear, that would be, that would be nuts. Um, there is a sheriff right there. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm actually not going to do anything right now because that sheriff is right there and the last thing I want to do is get any type of ticket for anything and let alone racing or speeding and he's following me that's awesome what are the freaking odds bro oh actually he didn't turn out 
we're gonna just keep driving a little bit just to make sure. Our first pull, we'll do fourth at 50. this light I'll do another one but still remaining in the speed limit of course there's a speed limit sign we're doing 55 that's speed limit that's what we're doing 55 nothing more not even one single mile per hour more 55 mile per hour roll this is actually insane this is it's fast it's really fast if it wasn't fast before it's freaking fast now oh my god unfortunately i only got to go up to 55 miles an hour but it got there really really quick so that's actually insane i'm i'm really really surprised it's fast i need to get some grippier tires on this thing oh my gosh that's a big bump oh my goodness all right we're gonna do one more here we go. All right, I'm gonna get out of here. I've been pretty lucky. There's a couple cops on the way here, but I got some pulls in. We're gonna call it a day. Not gonna keep trying to test my luck. I did do one pull in third and up in the high RPMs, there was a little bit of breakup and I'm not sure if that was because the wheels were spinning. I don't think so or what was the issue but um i really like hate going that fast even though i only went 55 miles an hour i hate going that fast so i didn't want to keep doing it to see if it was like consistent um but it was only in third gear that one time that was the only thing that i noticed about this tune but it is noticeably more crisp i'm really sorry i hope that you guys who requested the point of view driving you know there's a little bit in there it's it's actually very hard to do it's very hard to film that honestly I don't like how the GoPro looks like the quality is just not there and the colors are so saturated which can be corrected but I just I did I really don't like it um, it is like an older GoPro but you know I gotta ha I gotta use what I have you know work with what I've got you guys let me know what you think the, the car is really fast honestly it is so fast it is stupid fast and I just can't put the power down. I really can't. It just spins so much. It's ridiculous. So grippier tires are definitely needed. Also, a recent request I've been getting is to do drift videos, which it had me surprised. That's so random since I've never like drifted or anything. I've, I've done tons of burnouts. But I've never drifted. Now that got me thinking. Maybe I should get a project car I don't know maybe uh, thinking a little s13 slam to the ground D max kid something stupid fat wing or something you know slammed as hell front cambered and just slide that sucker fat hydro in it gutted interior some race seats you know drift in some style and I think that'd be a really really sick build there, there's so much to do on on those types of cars and parts are not expensive they're really affordable so that would actually be a really really doable thing so if you guys are interested in that at all that's an idea I'm pitching to you guys if you like it let me know that is definitely possible in the future that's all I got for the video thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys later why they wanna be me? It's not what it seems. Running to the bank, putting wet on my Achilles. We been thumbing blue faces like they Washington's. On a run from MIA up to Washington.